Oh man, oh man. Okay, we, okay. we popping, we popping. We just moving in the spirit, man. And we just want to start off by saying, Oh, hello, yeah, hello. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadat. Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well, that by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Josh Kanan. Brother Rod. And we come out to let you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know that we are the true Hebrew Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. And the good news of the gospel is the Lord, which the world ignorantly calls Yahweh Shai, he's coming with the, with the angels to get us out of the hands of our enemies. That's the good news of the gospel. You know, and the true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. And again, the true name of the Son, our Savior, our King, is Yahweh Shai, which means he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. And if he was walking the earth today, he would be a so-called black man and not some blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white guy. Matter of fact, we can start with that. We ain't going into that for in a minute. Revelation chapter 1. But see, people have this idea... And I was just listening to um, the elder Yashawamba. He was going off into that. You know what I'm saying? Because those are old, ancient, old, ancient, um, um, pagan, idolatrous customs, man. And a lot, and our people have always been bamboozled into believing other than everybody's shit except for the the true and living power, man. Just like King David. They believe King David was a, a, a gay man, white man. He was not. He was a black man. He was not gay. Oh yeah, they they think of, you know. But that's Esau. Esau. Hey, when, but when, when when you when you look at Esau's way of doing things, and you see all these white pictures, when you go online and you put in God, you put in you know um um you know uh uh so-called righteous men of the Bible. All you're gonna see is is weirdos, weird looking ass white men that look like they are um um homosexuals, man. You know, Esau got a real nasty, just a, the guy's just filthy. He's violent in the earth. We went into that last week. In um, Job chapter 30, he's violent in the earth, man. Me and Ock was just kind of talking about something. I ain't want to really go into it, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you got the so-called white woman out here, man. It's videos of the so-called white woman sleeping with horses, man. You know how big a damn horse's rod is? Sleeping with all different types. This is how vile they are. This is how they get down. Esau out here sleep. They in America. They actually have laws in certain states. It's legal to be with a with a beast. Bestiality is legal. So this is the type of man that you're dealing with. But yet and still, he's telling you that he's the righteous, and telling you that you're the nastiness of the earth. See? Well, let's get that. Yeah, Revelation chapter one. Um, let's start at verse thirteen. Or oh, it's 414, that's the spirit. Oh, well, praise to y'all about you now with God. Revelation 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. So that one that's the, the Son of Man, that's Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Go ahead. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So we had on a garment similar to ours. Ours is not all the way to the foot, but you know, that was the ancient customs of the day. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And good about the pa the the paps the paps with a golden golden griddle. girdle. So he had like a you know you know pretty much it was like a, a belt so to speak, but it was to keep your garment you know in place because you know you would gird up your loins when you went to war. That was like a war a war belt so to speak. Go ahead. His head and his ears were like white like wool. So his head and his hairs was like the, the, the brother's hair right here. Or like my beard, you know what I'm saying? Or like the brother's beard, you see? Then he had white woolly hair. What 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 people have woolly hair? He was from the tribe of Judah. Today he will be a Negro. Go ahead. As white as snow. Yep. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And and that goes off into him, you know, you know, having a lot of misery and, and, and a lot of stress. So to speak, you know what I'm saying? But he also drunk wine. Yahweh Shai loved wine. And we're praying that we're a part of his coming because he said that he wasn't going to drink any more wine, roughly paraphrasing, until he hooked up with his men. And that's going to be a beautiful party, man. We're going we gonna to party out of... You, hey, we're going we gonna to party out of control, man. 
And that's what we're waiting on, see? But you got Jake that's right now living in this in, in, in this particular captivity, trying to have that shit now. You're not gonna get it on this side, man. You know, it's not wrong with, you know, say, for instance, if me and I, after camp, we go and we just go chill, have some drinks, whatever the case may be, you know? And, 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 and we, we try and have as much joy as we can in this wicked ass team, but we're not trying to set up shop, you know what I'm saying, where, you know, we're trying to make our, our part of the kingdom in Esau's kingdom. No, nah, man, his shit gonna fall, ours gonna rise, that's gonna be our heaven, and our kingdom gonna be their hell. All the nations. And we gonna put it on their asses double time. Me and I was just talking, we just kind of talking about some stuff. <laughs> because it's unimaginable, really, in these bodies that we're in right now, to, cause, cause say for instance, what's the scripture that talks about, um, Uh, 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 I think it's Psalms 137. Stay, stay where you at. Uh. See, it's going to take a special type of, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a special type of, um, 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 spirit to be placed on us to carry out this type of, um, thing right here. So let me read this real quick. Psalms 137 and 7. It says, Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundations thereof. So they was like, Hey man, tear that shit up, raise that shit. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna help you. Because see, Esau, supposedly our brother, he helped all the other nations get down on us. Psalms 83, it tells you that, you know what I'm saying? Those, the enemy, it gives you a whole list of the enemies, um, the Lord's enemies. And Esau Edom, our brother, he helped them. All our people that got away and, and, and escaped, he rounded, rounded us up. So all this stuff that Esau has done to us, the Lord is going to give back to them double. But check it out. It says, O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. So can you imagine? Right now, in this particular body, you know what I'm saying? Grabbing some little bitty baby by their goddamn ankles and swinging his ass into a rock and watching him splatter, break all up into pieces. No, you can you can imagine doing nothing like that right now because we don't have that mindset. But the Lord is going to place complete anger on us to the point where we're gonna we're gonna meditate wicked. I mean, we're gonna meditate shit to do to these people, man. But you're going to have to be in a special spirit to be able to do something like that to a damn baby, man. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, hey, we, we going to see. Like, we were just talking about it. Hey, we going to see. We get the new bodies. The, hey, the, new, the, the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be written on our minds and hearts. We already pissed right now to be in this captivity looking at the bullshit we look at every day. You be looking at, you be looking at Jake, man, you be pissed. You be like, what the fuck? You can't wait to get the fuck out of here. So even in these bodies right now, the spirit dealing with us, we be pissed about um, wickedness, man. So just imagine when we get the new bodies and the law, statutes, and commandments written on our minds and our hearts were perfect. We're going to be on their ass. We're going to be on their head, man. The things that you read in the Old Testament, no, them laws going to apply. And we're going we gonna to get down, man. But anyway, go ahead. We're going to you know, continue on giving the, um, the description of our Lord. Right? And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet like unto fine brass. When you go into fine brass, I've done lessons on it. When you Google it, all you got to do is Google, Google it. Matter of fact, you can Google um, in the NLT. It reads, um, let's see, the NLT it reads, his feet was like unto polished bronze. So you can just Google polished bronze, and when you see it, it's gonna be dark as shit already. It's a dark brown. Like, like a pity. Yup. Like copper. When you, when, you know, you'll find an old ass penny, but if you burn a penny, all you gotta, you put a cigarette lighter or something like that, or, or, or put some flame to a, a penny, and, and that's pretty much what you're gonna get as far as like the true depiction or color of our Lord, man. Go ahead, no op. 
See, Esau been out here telling all these goddamn lies, man. They whip and beat white Jesus and two people, man. They terrorize people. Hey, them the true terrorists, man. They terrorize people into uh, uh, accepting white Jesus. At his feet, like on the fine brass. Fine brass. As if they burn in a furnace. If you burn something in a furnace, what color does it look, man? And brothers do it all the time. When you type in the, the Jesus, you get this weak looking ass, effeminate looking ass white dude, man. But when you type in your house side, you get it's a different spirit. You type in your house side, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's a total different spirit on the name and everything, man. Our Lord is not no damn Jesus Christ. The letter J was invented in 1524, man. 500 years ago. So if the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, how could they have been calling him Jesus? And then you got these Christians out here that's telling you his name don't matter. But they want you to get, but they want you to get their name right. Make a mistake with their name. What about to get offended, man? With their slave name. With their slave name, they mad. Come. Huh. See what I'm saying? So, and again, when we come out, what we're doing is we're prophesying the downfall of Esau Edom's kingdom, and we're telling our people that the kingdom, our kingdom is at hand. The kingdom of the Israelites, man. When we went into it last week, um, Luke chapter 1, you know, the prophet, uh, 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 um, the elder Zacharias, he was telling you, you know, the reason as to why the Lord was coming. To get us out of the hands of our enemies, man. Our people so fucked up, they don't even realize they fucked up. Now that's fucked up. You you really messed up when you don't know what kind of really pre predicament that you are really in. When you accept the fact that you went into slavery, when you, you accept the fact that you were kidnapped, Went into slavery under the people. Now you think the slavery is over, but you have no country. You don't you have still nothing. Up under your, still up under your captors. Jake don't have nothing, man. But Stockholm syndrome. Jake got Stockholm syndrome, chronic Stockholm syndrome, man. Here you go, you you taken up for your kidnapper. The motherfucker gonna beat you down. He done done all manner of shit to you. Then when he finally goes to court, you on the stand testifying on his behalf. That shit's stupid as hell. But that's our people, man. Let's get that uh, Jeremiah on uh, 422. Because that, you know, the, the, uh, the Lord, you know, he called us a, a, a silly-ass nation of people, man. And Jake hate themselves. They hate their own people, but they love the enemy, man. So 22? Yeah, 422. Jeremiah 4 verse 20 4 verse 22 For my people is foolish yep. They have not known, known me They are sottish children And they have none understanding They are wise to do evil but to do good, they are they have no knowledge. And that's our people to a T, man. They wise to do evil, but when it comes to doing good, uh-uh. They call you corny. Jake don't want to be around you, man, unless it's wickedness involved. Pay attention, pay attention smoking to weed, our people. Smoking weed and all the other crazy stuff going on with it. Pay attention to our people, man. They don't want to be around nobody that's doing nothing good. Selling dope. It's, it's boring to him. It's boring to him, man. Jake actually liked the hood. If Jake had the opportunity to go and live somewhere, I would like say like West Bloomfield or some shit like that. They were they were they that wouldn't settle with him. They wouldn't they, they wouldn't feel right without seeing his nastiness, man. They would have that luxury, but still jump in their car and come back over here and be bullshitting around with a bunch of crazies, getting in trouble. That's Jake, man. Why you think you'll see a nigga like um uh, uh this Jay Morant, Morant guy? You, you in the NBA, man. You a, a millionaire, but you still in the hood with guns and I'm looking stupid as hell. Jake can't leave this, this hood alone, man. 
you got a few of them that'll get up out of here and go and do something. But overall, how would people like to be seen? Especially amongst these women, man. They they gotta be seen. I just done this lesson before I left the crib. And I'm telling you, man, when when when, when you can't dial 911 no more, it's gonna be nasty for you women, man. And y'all like to be nasty anyway, or you gonna get the nasty done to you. When these guys, cause these, hey, these dudes don't care right now. These people don't care. And you're the weaker vessel, so you're gonna be taken advantage of. Just like the elderly and the children. Y'all lost, you know that, hey, don't, that's the vulnerable of the, of the society. And the, and the army is not gonna be here to, to help you. They gonna look for your weakness. For you to be put in place in them FEMA camps and, and and, and, no, they're not going to be here for your benefit at all. They're going to be here. Their, their, their quote-unquote order, getting things back in order, is not going to be you doing what you used to do. No. You ain't going to be a, you ain't gonna be no goddamn OnlyFans. There ain't going to be no Instagram models. There ain't going to be no Internet. And that shit is coming soon. And like I said, I just done that lesson before I left the house. So, um, I didn't even look at it. Let me see. This damn 80 year old woman, she got dementia. She had a hotel over in the damn, um, I think it was the Bahamas, with her daughter. And you know, I already knew when I seen the story, her, her wicked ass daughter probably just wanted to go over there because, you know, but the lady had Alzheimer's. 80 years old. In a hotel, a 60 year old pushed her ass into the elevator, knocked her ass off, break, you know, raped her. Yeah, bro. A sixty-one-year-old man pushed that lady because you know she had Alzheimer's. She, you know, she's standing there with her with her panties in her hand. That quick. Her daughter tried to reach into the you know the elevator to grab her with the door closed. He done already you know they look it, it, it didn't take him for thirty minutes. They were looking for her for thirty minutes. He done already done his thing. But that lets you know what kind of cruel world that you're living in. People don't have no natural affection. And, we, and, and, and most of y'all that watch the news, when, when they had the flood down in New Orleans, they showed the clip with, a, with an old, old white lady. Oh, they was getting, hey, they there was a lot of shit going on. She had a pistol. They literally beat the shit out of them. Man. She had, she had rice, no pistol, and everything. Bro, it was a That's lot. Shit. What you think they gonna do to A lot the of shit was going on down there when um, um when um that hurricane Katrina went on. People was all in the damn football stadium. People was displaced. That and that that's where matter of fact, remember they caught all those damn police officers breaking into people's places, taking all their shit. They weren't trying to protect the homes. They was going over to them homes, taking what they wanted out of them homes, man. Then even Brad Pitt went down there and, and supposedly built some quote unquote houses that fucking fell apart within the same year he got he got down whole bunch of them people got down Esau got down they got money out of that shit in the meanwhile and they the ones created the problem took all they your damn about, land talking about they blew up they blew up blew, blew some put some dynamite in, 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 in the water I wouldn't doubt it we, we, we created we created the, uh, the, the, the Hurricane. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, you talking about the, as far as the levees, they probably did um um, yeah, um blow them damn levees, but you know, hey, hey, hey but we don't put that like, we don't put nothing past that, Esau, that, man. See, you gotta understand, this is like the twin towers. The, 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 they say when it when, when it went, it was simultaneous. Boom, 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 boom. And it and it, it failed. You can they see don't it. have no planes. And you can see the video on that shit too. They don't I mean, have no planes or anything like that. And then at the same time too, on um, Tower Seven, it it wasn't even hit. And they gonna tell you and they knocked that. They bitch gonna down. tell you the gas disintegrated the, 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 the plane. Get the fuck out of here. Oh man. But nobody talks about it no more. And there's a lot of people out there still fucked up off all that damn asbestos and dust and all that other stuff that failed. A lot of people out here fucked up on that shit, man. Ain't that the same guy? Oh, okay, okay. I thought that was that guy from last week. The Jedo, man, hey. The scriptures, let's get that scripture back again, up. Uh. Our people, man, they, they, they're they sottish. They're wise to do evil. And they don't have no good in them, man. They don't give a fuck. And so when things start to hit the fan, it's going to be even your own family. Your 
your own family gonna be gonna get down on you. And your family will get down on you, they getting down on each other now. They talk all that love, love, love. There ain't no real love, man, in these households, man. It's so, the only love that's that's going down out here is the love between the brotherhood of this, this Hebrew Israelite movement, man. And some of these camps be going all the way off, man. Let's go ahead, though. Hell yeah, some of them out here appear to be gang members. Jeremiah 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They have, they are such sottish children. Which means that they're stupid. The NLT says they're stupid. Go ahead. And they have no, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. But to do good, they have no knowledge. Hey, look, you ain't gonna get no better um, description of, uh, of so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans than that. For real. And when you peer into this internet, when you look at the, 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 like TikTok, matter of fact, I was looking at some TikTok videos last night. Because I had the app on my phone, but I never, you know, signed into it. And I know, um, you know, um, um, Elder Malcolm, while I was in Chicago, he be finding a lot of great videos on TikTok to edify on. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just, it's an extra tool, you know what I'm saying? That I can go into and look at some video. Man, when I'm telling you, man, I'm scrolling through them shits, I'm like, well, all right. But what struck me the most is like, you know what I'm saying? How fucked up people was. And I'm like, I'm like man, the Lord is cold. The Lord is cold. I'm talking about people, and it had to, People so deformed and so fucked up. I'm talking about like thinking to it was this dude on there, man. He was pretty much all he was was a head. That's how small his body he had. His arms didn't come all the way out. None of him. He just scooping on the ground in a diaper. But he a grown ass man. He had a grown head, man, with a baby body. And I'm thinking to myself, like, man, the Lord is cold as shit. It was another dude, man. This motherfucker was on the floor. He couldn't do nothing with his arms. He was cooking and shit with his feet. That motherfucker was flipping shit with his toes and shit. He was, you know, man, I'm looking like, man, the Lord is coming to that let you but know. But see, that's, but the, they had understanding. They're, they're not put back in this world like that because they, 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 they got a good heart. They was evil as fuck in their last, in their last life. What well, could have been, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, hey, but that goes off of two, two, where the disciples is asking the Lord who did sin. This man or his parents that he came out blind. Uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing. But so we do know from both aspects, yeah, you can come back here and get a real judgment because you was wicked as hell in your past life. But at the same time, too, in that particular situation, that was just to show the power of your how about Shimmy I was shot. Right? Because I seen this one, man. I don't talk about man when I say de you I can clearly see the demons on this girl. She was sitting there telling her mama, your breath felt like shit. Your breath smell like this. She's just standing there laughing her ass off. He said, you need, she said, you need some bleach. You need to drink some bleach. Some. But I can see it was just like the shit that was on. You can clearly see that those was demons, man. And oh, hey, that shit is real. When you go into the um, you know, where it's talked about the um the guy that had the um the uh uh, uh the legion, I think they call him Legion. Let me see. He said I, uh, he had many names, I think it was. Yeah, uh, Mark 5 and... Yeah, man, hey, these, hey, these... And the Lord is going to turn these spirits of vengeance loose too, man. Because that's also in Ecclesiasticus. And it's a lot of... So, matter of fact, get that real quick, Dr. Rock. Um, 39. 28. I'm going to get this real quick. Uh... Yeah, man. Hey, and this is what this pretty much kind of looked like when I was looking at some of them. I'm like, damn, the Lord really got these people in a, in a trick bag, man. And this is Mark chapter 5, to start from the top. And they came over unto the other side of the sea into the country of Gardarines. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs and no man could bind him. No, not with chains. So this motherfucker was so goddamn strong, 
And I'm looking at some of those people like, man, hey, look. Those people that be having that, that's some extra type of, them motherfuckers, that's some extra type of strength, man. It says, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. So just think when the Lord is about to let these damn spirits of vengeance loose. And always night and day he was in the mountain, and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Yahweh far off, he ran and worshipped him. And you got these these damn camps running around out here talking about Yahweh Shai shouldn't be worshipped, man. It says, and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Yahweh Shai, thou son of the Most High Yahweh? And I adjure thee by Yahweh that thou tor torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. So this is what Yahweh Shai is, is pretty much overall doing. When with the cleanup of Israel right now, when you come into this word, you start to change, man. That you, 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 you know, the, that word it, it starts to fester in you, it agitates you. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, 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 Elder Yahshua, he used a great. I think that was him. No, it was the brother down at Germ uh, Birmingham. But he used the illustration of agitation to clean you. So when you first come into this truth, the scripture talks about you know. Prepare yourself for temptation. Prepare yourself for certain things that's going to happen because it's going to you're going to be going through it, man. Because the Lord is chastising you, and by Him chastising you, it says that He chastised the sons that He loved. By Him chastising you, He's going to be moving and shaking you. And He used the illustration of a washing machine, basically. How you wash clothes, the agitation of the water moving around is what brings the dirt, cleansing, cleansing the clothing. So you had to be agitated. You had to be moved, so to speak, man. You see what I'm saying? And that's pretty much overall what this truth is doing. And Esau don't like that because Esau he festers in filth, man. He can't make no money if you if Jake become clean. He gets money over all the filth, man, that he pushes on you, man. Straight up. Verse nine it says, and he asked him, "What is thy name?" And he answered, saying, my name is Legion, for we are many. And that's the point that I wanted to get. So let's go ahead and get that one out. But hey, man, hey, when the Lord unleashed these spirits, it's going to be something like you've never seen before, man. And you can go online. When you go online, you go on YouTube and stuff like that, and you be seeing certain shit, and you like, you see some of these niggas that be on some of these drugs, and they have them, them damn spirits on them. They hard to contain. Officers be fucking tasering him. You know what I'm saying? Tasering his ass over and over again. Three, four tasers hitting his ass one time. And he just... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Motherfucker about to flip the car. They can't contain him. You know what I'm saying? They can't put him in fetters. And that's another thing with you women cops too. Because I've been seeing these videos with you women cops. Y'all don't need to be on the force, man. Y'all don't need to be on the force. You are not, you you can be no partner of mine. Ain't no damn way I'm getting in no squad car with no chick. The hell out of here. How you gonna deal with some nigga 320? He already just net you know, he naturally strong. I be thinking about uh what we smooth cop. She was trying to tag the guy, he was like Get to the face. Yeah, Boy, man. Like, this ain't doing nothing. All the videos I've seen of women trying to arrest men, it's always some bystanders that's driving by. Men got to jump out of their car to go help. Regular civilians got to jump out of their car to go help this bitch, man. I wouldn't help not a one. You think I'm about to help you? Crazy. I see one of you women cops getting y'all asses jumped by one of these big ass niggas. I'm not helping. I'm going to pull my phone out. And I'm gonna video record your ass and, and, and do a video on your ass as to why you're not supposed to assert authority over the man. We're going directly in the first tenant with your ass. But go ahead, though, Ock, with that, with that one, Ock. Because yeah, the Lord about to let these spirits of vengeance loose out here. And y'all gonna see. All that old, I, I am woman here, you roar. All right. We about to see. You, you better get, y'all better get y'all asses off these police forces. And y'all better get y'all asses out of this man's military. Ecclesiastes 39 verse 28. 
there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which is their fury lay on sore, sore strokes. Yep. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the Lord created those spirits to appease his wrath, man. And it's coming to a point where he's going to let these spirits go. They already out here working out. Don't get me wrong. But it's going to be on a more mass scale. Look at all the destruction that's going on in the planet, man. That's why when you get that, uh... Let me get this real quick. Amos 3 and 6, it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? See? This is not your regular white Jesus every Sunday Christianity here, man. The Lord will kill you. And he created spirits for vengeance, man, to appease his wrath. So that means that he doesn't have this one, this one emotion that y'all keep talking about. Love, love, love. The Lord just loves everybody. Come as you are. Do as thou wilt. All right. You keep that same energy. For real. <laughs> Everything gonna be good. If you ain't following the man, if you ain't following the laws, the commandments. Not even trying. If you think because you you doing right by society, ain't nothing gonna happen. Your ass gonna be told the fuck up to. Hey, it's a scary state that our people are in, man. You know because the scriptures talked about how the the righteous uh, um scarcely make it. So here you go. You got niggas out here talking about I'm saved by grace in the name of white Jesus already. Man, the Lord gonna knock your ass off, and He gonna bring real terror upon you, man. I actually see. I started seeing you that clip. I see. I, I'm online. I'm looking at. I'm going through things. I'm seeing a brother. He was talking about we don't have to follow the law anymore. I'm like, what the what? Yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably talking about um. Well, hey, it's, it's a, hey, these camps waxing, waxing worse and worse these days. I'm like, this brother, they waxing worse and worse. Look. We don't teach that you're going to be saved by the law. No, you don't know. We don't teach that. Well, we teach that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what our Lord, Yahweh side, because we need that grace. Because even on, uh, 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 there's been videos going on all week on the same subject that uh, we just talking about. You know, with these camps out here teaching basically that you're going to be saved by the law. And that's not true. Because you can't keep all the law. Exactly. Here you go, you got the yeah. Passover coming around right now. You don't, you don't have, you're not, you're not going to, matter of fact, you're not going to Jerusalem three times a year to sacrifice to the Lord. Oh. You don't have, have no best ability. that's all you can do. You're not in control of whether or not you, your, 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 your clothing is made with two different fabrics. If you got a woman and she's on her, on her monthly cycle, you know, a lot of brothers don't have the option of going to a hotel room getting away from her or putting her away or something like that. And even if you've done that, say for instance, you go to the supermarket, you pick up a pack of damn brown chunk that some chick just picked up and you don't even know. And she could have been on her monthly. She defiled. Everything she touching is defiled. You on the damn bus. You sitting down. You opening doors. You touching every, anything that they may have touched. Your ass is defiled. So how is it that you keeping all the laws? And, they, and they're actually out here teaching that they actually keep all the laws. And what they're doing is they're, they're putting Yahweh Shah on the backdrop. And that's dangerous, man. So we're not teaching that. Who that? That might be her. Nah, man. Hey, they're teaching that Yahweh Shah is basically insignificant. Hey, that's gonna get a lot of niggas destroyed, man. Hey, nah, you do it. Okay, go ahead with that, Noah. Fire him in! Yo, there you go again, man. You see, brothers know what's popping, man. It's not like brothers don't know that this truth is going out, man. People be blowing, driving by blowing the horn all the time, man. Because they understand that this truth, man, this truth is, is blazing. It's real. 
This truth is crazy, bro. I'm talking to my mother this morning. And I'm telling her, I'm like, man, the Bible's the realest thing ever. And she gonna say the Bible been wrote this many times. And King James, they talk about him. They, he was gay. And I bet you can't even give you a bill. source. That's that bill. They can't give you a source. They never read that in their, in their lives. They just listening to what people are saying and parroting that shit. Y'all you, better, hey, y'all better do some research. Y'all better start studying. That's and right. even what we going into, y'all need to be going back and researching. Y'all better be like the Church of Berea. Well, that's what well, that's the, one of the first things I researched when I was when, when I got into the truth. And everything is at your fingertip now. Exactly. He is not what they say. That's not no. Come on, man. Yep. Yeah. But hey, but that's Esau. Esau, hey, anything that's got to do with good, he's gonna put his filth on it. That's the same thing. Like I said, even with Yahweh Shai, when you look at, if you push, if you put in pictures of Jesus, he looks like a goddamn weirdo. But his finger trying to touch another man's finger. That's like, no, that's the picture of a so-called God. That's crazy as hell. White button naked ass angels with their PPs out. And then when you go over there, they call that shit art over in Rome and Greece and all these. They got naked ass statues of men everywhere. Where you had to pay to go to a museum and see naked ass men. Like, come on, bro. In the middle of their town ways. So that let you know they're a bunch of damn freaks and weirdos, man. The scripture says that you're not supposed to see a man's nakedness. Here you go. You calling that shit art. Everything that the so-called white man, hey, I'm telling you, man, y'all better get away from this man. This man is the goddamn devil, man. And that word devil goes into deceiver. No one has deceived the planet like how the so-called white race has, man. Motherfuckers telling you that the shit was around billions of years ago. <clears throat> I just done that lesson on Stephen Hawkins. He talking about there is no God and the laws of physics and laws of science. And... But I bet you he couldn't get his twisted ass up out of that wheelchair. Why your science ain't doing? Hey, hey, hey! You you ain't putting nothing together to get out of that wheelchair, sitting there talking on that goddamn computer. The Lord twisted your ass up real nice. And I bet you when he got back to the spirit world, he saw. All right, I need. I I said the wrong thing, Lord. But go ahead, though, I. But the Lord is about to let these spirits of vengeance get down on these wicked thinking ass niggas, man. Fire and hell and famine. Hey, that's that's the, the these are parts of the spirits of vengeance the Lord created. Fire. Hell. I just seen a hell storm. I think that I think it was India. And it was with a flood to go with it. I'm like, God damn. The flood carrying cars along, goddamn baseball sized ice falling out of the sky on their asses. I'm like, boy, lumping their asses up, man. Let's go ahead, O'Hop. And death. All these are, were created for vengeance. Death was created for vengeance, man. There's a lot of people out here right now, man, and the Lord got their ass in a, in a phase of terror right now, just before he knocked their asses off. The best way to go on this planet is in your sleep, man, peacefully, with your family around you. That's how our forefathers normally would, would pass away. They will actually know that they're about to pass away. A lot of our forefathers would say, hey, look, my days are about... The Lord will actually let them know, hey, look, man, it's about time to, you know... It's, time. it's, over. it's time, about time to get out of here. And you will pass away peacefully on your back, looking up at your, your third, the fourth, the fifth generation of children. Your grandkids and stuff, man. That, 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 was a, that, that was a way of the Lord really dealing with you and, and taking away your spirit in a peaceful way. But, you, but the wicked still had your ass man. That's like they found, ever after I done that video, they found that pastor with his two sons hugged up in a fetal position in that house fire. They asses in stone. And you know who they were screaming out and crying to, white Jesus, man. That does nothing for the asses. Yeah, this mother, the Lord, and turned the asses into charcoal. Oh, you talking about when, uh, oh, no, you talking about. Oh, that so-called white pastor out here, he adopted black kids and all this other shit. 
And see, Esau think y'all really think that y'all gonna get away with the shit. And see, they trying to group up now and act as if, you know, no, that was our forefathers. We're not like that today. No, but you gonna get the business, man. You're not getting out of the punishment that the Lord got for you. We did. Like I seen this episode, uh, matter of fact, it was on TikTok too. But it was an ep episode of the TV show Shame on Shame. I don't know if you've ever seen it. I think it used to come on Showtime. Shameless. And you know, they, you know, the so called, it's just a dysfunctional ass family. So called white people, you know, they got black, little black kids and shit, you know, bro, you know, adopted kids and shit. The father was, he was dealing, he was sleeping with anybody for drugs. He didn't care what he slept with. And that was a perfect depiction of that damn Edomite too and that shit. But anyway, they had an episode with the little um, so called black. Two little black boys supposedly in the house with these white people. They supposed to had adopted or whatever. However the case may have been. But you know they're standing out on the block in Chicago. Because this is where the, the show is uh, filmed at. Or whatever. On the south side. So they're standing out on the block selling lemonade. And this so-called white woman come out of her house. You know, cussing at him and shit. Telling him to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She called the police on him. So you know the po black police officer get out of the car. He's like, what's the problem? And she fussing and shit, you know, these, you know, in so many words, these little niggas, you know what I'm saying? Get them the fuck out of here, basically. So, the police officer just told him, you know, hey, we'll pack up and just go up the block with it, man. You know what I'm saying? And she was all like, that's all you gonna do? <laughs> so he was like, you know what I'm saying? The police officer, so-called black man, he come out of his pocket. He threw a $20 bill in their little hookup. He's like, man, go get a permit. But the little man's like, damn, you need a permit to sell some lemonade? <laughs> anyway, he wraps shit up, taking shit into the crib, and you know, supposedly this is his sister, the white lady. You know what I'm saying? Because she's the one, she's really like a teenager, so to speak, but she's running the household because the mom died, the daddy, he don't give a fuck. He just, he just out and about just drinking and drugs. So she's running the whole, that's the, pretty much the basis of the show. It's that she's running the household. You got one brother in there. He's a damn sodomite. You know what I'm saying? Nasty as hell. Because it's a nasty show, really, in reality. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, she's sitting on the couch having a drink. And she's like, what's wrong with you? You know, and, and, and a little boy tell her what happened. And um, she was like, well, who was you with? He, he explained who he was with. It. His other two friends, you know, little black dudes and shit. She was like, oh, so because y'all was black? She was like, oh, shit, fuck that. Slams on low glass now. She going all through the hood, tapping on doors and shit. We about to go over here and we gonna have a party. And she got the whole hood with her. All these so-called white people coming out of their house because they care about racism. And they, they they pulled up in front of this bitch's house. You know what I'm saying? They, they like a mob, like damn near 100 deep. <laughs> Radios and shit. <laughs> they right in front of her damn house, bro. <laughs> she was like, welcome to the South Side, bitch. <laughs> But the thing that I'm, that I'm pointing out is, is see they doing shit like that because they want to try and get out of this motherfucking dust. That type of shit appeases Jake. It puts Jake back to sleep when you should be outraged with these motherfuckers, man. No, no it, it, I don't give a fuck how sleep Jake get. They ain't gonna get out of that damn dust. But that's what they try and do. See, this is that's that's the sneakiness of a devil. That's your adversary, man. That's that's against you, man. He like, yeah, we fucked you up, and, 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 and you know, but still, you know, like, but hey, man, it ain't like that no more. Y'all need to let that go. Let it go, man. Boost, boost, How long y'all gonna hold on to that, boost, dude? Bootstraps it. Strap your boots up. Anyway, I, I mean, for real. You still fucking us over, but you like, but how long y'all gonna, when y'all gonna let that go? Well, motherfucker, when y'all gonna let it go? <laughs> Shit. Like, straight up, man. So when these spirits of business start to get down out here doing Jacob's trouble, there's gonna be a lot of, lot of, um, lot of things going on, man. Even though Jake gonna get, gonna get that business two thirds of Jake, gonna get that business. But guess what? The Lord is gonna allow Jake to get some licks in. Jake gonna get some licks in, man. Well, go ahead, no ops, a lot. I just wanted to make that point. You, you eat them ice, man. Y'all not getting out of that judgment, man. Y'all not getting out of that judgment. We can get that in, um. We can go to Galatians 6 and 7 after this. T for wild beasts. Yep. Hey, what, what the dude jumped over in the damn, um, and, and trying to take a selfie with the damn lion yesterday? 
<laughs> he tried. He jumped over in the damn thing at the zoo, man. Trying to take a motherfucking uh, selfie with the lion. Mauled his ass up, man. And that goes off into who who a pity a charmer, or those that come near um a nigh wild beast. That that scripture literally jumped off the page. <laughs> Because everybody in the comment board was clowning the shit out of his ass. Nobody was like, oh, sorry, he lost his life. No, they was clowning that nigga, man. Jump your stupid ass over into this cave, knowing that that's a wild beast, man. All the people in the, the comment board, basically most of them, all they were saying was, I hope they don't eat the lion because he was only doing what he naturally, he's in his natural habitat. Because you know Esau would kill an animal, man. Here you go, you got Esau out here doing all kinds of shit. You somewhere you ain't supposed to be, and then you want to track down the bear now. What the fuck are you doing fucking with him? <laughs> then you want to, you, you, y'all in helicopters and shit? Y'all all searching for him on feet and shit? Because the bear or, or, or the animals, it ain't natural habitat doing what they do. You damn Edomites is out here trying to just love. You know, you just, your fatness of the earth that went to your head. Shit crazy, bro. Go ahead, no ox lock. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword punishes the wicked to destruction. Hell yeah. And that's what's coming. The Lord is about to start whacking y'all asses, man. Y'all better repent, bro. Straight up. Well, that's real shit. That scripture that, that tell, tells us in our time, we gonna be looking to our left and a thousand gonna die. Look to our right, ten thousand. Hey man, hey, that's shit. scary as hell. I'm about to get grimy as hell out here, man. I'm about to get you grimy. These people die, but you know in your heart, you you gonna be all right. Then it's gonna be crazy, man, because you're gonna be seeing people that you really love. Exactly. That you, uh, matter of fact, it's not really, you know, people got a. You fall, might not uh, even see people uh, that you love. You know, you, you may, but people you got a real. You take you away from them before that even happens. But that'll be mercy. Yeah, that'll be mercy. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, a lot of people got a false sense of what love is, man. Love, basically, is keeping the commandments of Yahweh by Shimei on side. Huh. You know? Because if you love your neighbor, so to speak, if you love your brother, you're not gonna you're not gonna do in just any kind of way, man. Exactly. You're not gonna even place yourself in a position where he would have to place himself in a foul position to try and save yourself. If you really love your yo, you know what I'm saying, your yo, 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 yo brother or your neighbor as you love yourself, you're not gonna be out here, you know, um shooting at people and then calling him up talking about I need your help with some niggas that's on my ass. Nah, man. Cause you placing him in a position of danger now. You know? Yeah, let's get that uh, uh that verse. What's that? Tw um, the last verse in that. Thirty one of these. But this is very important to know right here. Cause these Christians, man, they out here teaching that the Lord loves everything and loves every damn body. But what they don't know is the Lord created these spirits for vengeance. And get that verse and, and, and check this out. There, there be spirits. No, no, that, that, that verse 31. Oh, 31. Verse 31. They shall rejoice in his commandment. Here you go. You got these spirits of vengeance that's going to rejoice in killing your ass. Go ahead. And they shall be ready upon, upon earth when need is. Oh, these spirits are already. Hey, these spirits are ready already. So when you see people out here getting knocked the fuck off, that's a, the Lord has sent the spirit to knock your ass off. Go ahead, I. And when their, their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So the Lord created spirits that rejoice in killing people, man. From babies to old ass women. And guess what? It says they're not going to transgress his word. They're going to go forth and do what the Lord said to do with happiness. Oh, well, thank you, Lord. You want me to do it? Well, how? <laughs> you want him done like, oh, Lord, that's cold. And you know the Lord be having um councils with the spirits, man. Matter of fact, let's get uh first king. I think that's um see 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 the Christian church, man, they not they not giving you the rundown on, on, on the real attributes of the Lord, man. Jesus, uh 
Yeah, um, um, 1 Kings 22. Let's start at verse 19. Yeah. Gotta show you an attribute of the Lord, man, and don't come out in the scripture uh, uh, out in the church, man. These Christians not teaching you the Bible the right way. First Kings 22, verse 19. And he said, Hear thou, therefore, the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, and all the, the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left so you see the host of heaven that that goes into the spirits man of the whole about shimmy outside the angels man and they're standing on his right and they're standing on his left because the lord he deals with the left and the right hand he deals in balance man so he created evil spirits to get at your ass and he created good spirits to go forth and get messages and things of that nature to, to save so to speak right so now let's check it out you're gonna see the lord put a hit out on this nigga let's get your let's go ahead out and the lord said who shall who, who shall pursue persuade persuade a half that, that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Galiad. Yep. So the Lord is asking the angels, like, who gonna set this nigga up? What you, you know what I'm saying? Who got a plan? Go ahead. And one said on this, this matter, and another said on that matter. And, and, and there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and, and said, I will pursue them. I will persuade him. So this spirit came forth and told the Lord, I'll persuade him. I got him. I got some for his ass, Lord. Go ahead. What'd he say? And the Lord said unto him, Well, will. So the Lord asked him, How you gonna do it? Go ahead. And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in, in the mouth of all his prophets. So the Lord said he was going this, what, what, he, what, he, what he said was, I will go forth and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And you, and, and, and matter of fact, you got that going on right now. There's plenty of false prophets out here. We see in camps right now that's leading people astray. Leading their asses right into the fire, man. Leading their asses right to destruction. Why? Because Jake's sottish, man. They don't want to listen. They don't want to wake up. They don't want to hear the words of the Lord, man. They don't want to hear the commandments. They don't want to hear the laws of Yahweh about Shemuel the Messiah. They don't want to hear of, of, of living better, man. Jake loved it. He loved this, this enslavement. Jacob may be an enslaved fool. I'm telling you, man. Look at these niggas in these rap videos and shit, man. Jake bragging about these raggedy ass cities. Oh, I'm from Boston. Oh, I'm from Detroit. Oh, nigga, I'm from Philly. Oh, nigga, y'all ain't fucking with us over here in Miami. Get the hell out of here, man. Y'all out here rooting for all these raggedy ass cities in Esau's kingdom, man. Killing your people over this shit. Here you go, this man stole the whole goddamn continent, and you out here talking about your block. Get the fuck out of here, man. Your block. You out here shooting at your own people over a damn block of some colors, man. Motherfucker can't count the 20 damn near, man. Don't even know his colors. And you can clearly see that from them scriptures right there we just read, the Christian church is not telling you the truth. Matter of fact, let's get 1 Samuel 2 and 6, all right? Y'all better learn some of the real attributes of the Lord. Same dude, he does the same thing last week. Isn't it the same dude that was standing over here and then walking across the street? Remember, he was standing in that, in that, on the top right there? Yeah. No, I, I was saying the same thing too. I think that was him. Go ahead, Rock. Lock me. Um, first Samuel. Somewhere at the top up there. First Samuel. Yep. Mm-hmm. A few seconds there, man. 
Two, two and six. Show y'all some of the attributes of Yahweh by Shimei was shy, man. From Samuel, the Lord killeth and maketh life. Be he he bring him he bring him down the grave and bring him up. Yep, go ahead, though. Right, that next one too. The Lord make him poor and make him rich. You see that? So the Lord, he's the one that kills and makes alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. If, if, if it's a poor person out here, the Lord got him poor. If a person is rich, the Lord made him rich. It's that simple, man. See, the brother ain't gonna be to say, I, I, didn't, I didn't never hear no brother speak on that. No, he was listening. I think he was, he was, he was listening. But, but if he don't follow, I mean, you know, they, hey. They, the Lord said the spirits go back to the mind like, oh, I didn't get this, oh, I didn't get that. No, well, hey, I mean, you know, AC being sown, though, because I think that's the same guy from last week, you know. But you just never know. He, you know, hey, he probably run across. Hey, we all came into this thing all different ways. I didn't just pop up like, you know what I'm saying. I think it took a minute. Because I, cause I, cause I used to really sit, <laughs> I used to just sit and, and smoke blunts, man, roll blunts and, and drink, man, listening to these videos. I ain't on front when I first came in. I ain't gonna lie, the spirit brought me into it. I mean, when it was a spirit it, that brought, it, it, it brought the spirit brings everybody into it, though. No, I'm, I'm talking about, I went into a, I went into a, like, a one-on-one -on -one thing with the spirit. Seriously. And, and, and it showed me what was for to go down. Well, yeah, hey, man. And I didn't know, I, it, it didn't direct me to what, what, what I had to come to. But, no, it, it had to if you got it. Yeah, <laughs> you I made it. Yeah, yeah, That's what I'm saying. It. No, you know, because everybody, lot is different. Because it's all the spirit. The spirit is going, you know, it just depends. Because everybody got a different way that they, you know, that done made it to this but thing. But the scriptures was always there to let me know who was right and who was wrong. And I first went to Christian church. And it was a woman speaking. And, 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 and it said, no, and knew that wasn't right. Soon after, I found out the, the, the scriptures on the woman. Yep, not supposed, to be the able, not supposed to be able to, be able to teach. Oh. Hey, man, this Christianity, man, is out of damn control, man. man. I think, you know, the, the brother put up a video, I think it was the day before yesterday. The damn pastor got a big stupid ass trampoline in the middle of the church and he just bouncing on that bitch freaking. <laughs> <laughs> and the people just sitting around just, you know, laughing and get see, Jake think this shit is a joke. <laughs> he only he literally throwing a big stupid ass trampoline in the church. And you know all them gifts, see they need them gimmicks and shit. Because really there's no truth, there's no life to these Christian churches, man. So they have to give you entertainment. That's the reason why they'll have singers popping up, all these different um, platforms, all these different conferences and shit like, see, Jake, bro, Jake need entertainment. But then they'll have at the back of the brochure, we're gonna have Yolanda Adams or some damn body, CC or BBs or whoever the fuck wine is, or, you know. And Jake shows up in droves when it comes to that stuff, man. They really believe, they really believe in that shit. They don't come out with nine scripture telling you what's right and what's wrong, what you what you need to follow. They come out the heart and tell you what you need to follow. It be four sandwiches at the same time. Yeah, man. Hey, hey, but you know what? That shit falling off, man. It's not going like how it used to. It's not going like how it used to, man. <laughs> yeah, because it's brisk and shit, yeah, it's brisk out here with the down. damn window down, yeah, yeah, you're sitting up there, but you see how, hey, Jake is, is morbidly obese, that's another thing, too, man, I was watching them, tic them TikTok videos last night, and I'm looking like, but damn, man, but you know, because you see a lot of eating videos on there, you know, Jake be, you know, they be all over the place, taste testing shit, eating all manner of, of wickedness, you know what I'm saying, all kinds of abominable ass food, I and most I of those, I know I ain't right, but trust me, I know I turn around fast. Oh, hey, man. The thing of it is, is just, you know, just having discipline, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that I'm eating a lot. And I really that I just don't, I don't do anything. I sit, sit down all day. Yeah, it's important to get some exercises in. You know, if ain't nothing but a walk, you know what I'm saying? But the thing of it is, is, you know, can you go a damn day without eating? And Jake can't. Jake eating all day long, man. And I was looking at that, I, I think this guy was a Muslim, but he was going off into, I guess he was one of the first ones 
to um, post the ingredients for the Popeye's chicken sandwich and the um, Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. And you know, like that shit had like 50, 50 ingredients in it and 40 of them wasn't even natural. I'm like, God damn. He was like, that's the reason why. He was like, pretty much overall what they doing to you is they're, they're drugging you. Because all the chemicals that was in it was like drugs. Like him. This is the reason why. He was like, he said that. He, he, he basically said he was sitting there and he was watching the drive through at a Chick-fil-A. And they had three lanes. He said he sat there for a whole entire hour and that motherfucker did not stop. That bitch was popping all the way through. So he said he looked up the ingredients online, but when he done the video, Chick-fil-A and them, you know, they took, supposedly took down the ingredients off their website because people started to look into it. And these motherfuckers put a lot of science into taste and shit like that. See, that's Esau. That's how we know that this is Esau, man. He studied. He studied that's why the scripture where it says, um, what's that? Um, he's uh, smarter than Daniel. See if I can find that real quick. Esau search out everything, man. That's he how he know you niggas. He, he you studied, don't think he, he studied, studied you? He studied you and know what you what you what you lack in it. And he, and he put it on you so you you go for it. He done studied the hell out of you niggas, man. He know how to put together a chicken sandwich to keep your ass coming through eating chicken. Exactly. You don't think he ain't studied the ingredients? Yeah, them niggas, we gonna put this in there and we'll keep them niggas buying those $18 Big Mac combos and shit. Esau, man, is about that diligent search, man. Motherfucker all out here in space and shit. He's got, yeah, for real, bro. This motherfucker, he, oceanographers. You know what I'm saying? They, hey, they got a, they got an ology. They, they got an ology on the end of everything. They search and they, they go into everything, man. This is um Ezekiel 28 and 3. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. This earthly shit, you ain't hiding nothing from Esau. This motherfucker all in volcanoes. For real, this motherfucker studies everything, bro. He's at the zoo. You know, he, he, he you know, he's into, he, he's veterinarians and shit. He studies animals. He studies fish. This motherfucker got, they study the brain. They got all different types of medical. The motherfucker study just the foot, bro. You got foot doctors. The ear. You'll have a heart specialist. You'll have one of them motherfuckers. They just only we only into kidneys. God damn it! You come at when you need dialysis. You know they are specialists in every goddamn thing, bro. And don't think that they're not a specialist in knowing you niggas, man. And that's how they gonna get down. That's how they know how to keep your ass from 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 overrunning the ass, man. They get out here in the Super Bowl and you see these silly ass commercials of them loving you all of a sudden. Trying to put your silly ass back to sleep. We're all one. Everybody holding damn hands and shit. Then in the meanwhile, when the Super Bowl parade come around, motherfuckers shooting up the spot. How you at a parade? Uh, celebrating your team with it. And, and motherfuckers have a mass shooting at that bitch. Oh, bro, you know this place is wicked as hell, man. It's about time to get out of here, man. We need out. We need out of here. We need out of here, man. Yeah, let's get that Galatians 6 and 7, though. We was um, talking about uh, how Esau not going to get away with the bullshit. <laughs> now, Esau, you're not getting away with the bullshit, bro. All this stuff that you have done as a nation to the children of Israel, none of you nations are getting away with that shit. And we're out here to prophesy the downfall of your kingdom, and the and, and it's going to be a fulfill, fulfillment of you getting that 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 double up. Six and seven. Six and seven. Yep. Six and seven. Galatians 6 verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not marked. For what for whosoever. For whatsoever. For whatsoever a man sowed, that shall he also reap. So the shit that you done sown, that's what you gonna reap. Here you go, a motherfuckers are specialists in farming. Y'all motherfuckers out here with the pesticides right now. Killing down people. 
I just, I've done a lesson the day before yesterday, come to find out you thinking that you can eat oatmeal because it's healthy, or some damn Cheerios because it's healthy, and you got goddamn it, it's poisoning people. So Esau got to go, man. He done became a specialist in how to keep the damn, he's a specialist in preservatives, man. Preservatives is not always good. See? So when you sow plants, you should be getting what you put what the seed is. And since y'all put down the seed of wickedness, you go receive uh, of the, the you know that fruit from it, man. You're not getting away with the things that you've done. Let's get that Job 34 and 29. To show that this is not just talking about an individual man. Because the Lord, he deals with individual men and he deals with nations of people as well. In the same way that he put us into slavery as a, as a whole nation, he going to put y'all into slavery as a whole nation. And it's only right. See, Esau, y'all a bunch of damn hypocrites. It's okay for you to do what you've done to us. But when we come out and say that shit going to happen to y'all, oh, y'all some racist. And you got Jake that, 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 that's... That's why the Lord gonna knock on two thirds of Jake. Because Jake be standing up for the so-called white man. But what do you mean? You know what, white woman? We just all one race, the human race. But they don't give a fuck about you. Yeah, all, man. All, all, all trees would be the same. same. Yeah, all same flowers would be the same. No such thing. You made everything separate from another. All women would look alike. All men would look alike if that was the damn case. And you should love your people because you are made in his image. See what I'm saying? But that's why we was talking about that double up because the Lord, he's a, a perfect um, balance, man. You can't have rich people without poor people. You can't have good without evil, man. You can't have man without woman. You can't have ground without sky. Sun without moon. The Lord is a perfect balance, man. You can't have righteousness without unrighteousness, man. So the Lord created a wicked ass people and he created a righteous people and it just so happened the wicked is, is the so-called white race. This is what it is, man. Yeah, let's get that though. Right. We get ready to close out a little bit here. Job 34 verse 29. When he giveth quietness, who, who then can make trouble? When the Lord giveth quietness, ain't nobody making no damn trouble, man. Go ahead. And when, when he hide, hide him, his faith, who then can behold him? Whether whether it be done against a, a nation or against a man only. See that? So the Lord, he deals with nations of people, man. Who do you think set up all the kingdoms that, that, ever been, that, that has ever come about? The Lord set up all those kingdoms, man. And see, we're, in that, we, we're pretty much in the fourth kingdom of the last... Uh, 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 of the end times, man. This is the last kingdom that's going to rule until, you know, uh, until the, the Israelites come into play. This is the end of Esau's kingdom, man. This is the last known kingdom that's ever going to be over the Israelites, man. This is it. This is it, man. Here you go. We done came back in all these past lives that went through all these captivities. <laughs> Because we done been reincarnated over and over again. And this is the last one, man. Straight up. But let's go ahead and get that, um, the Romans 13 and 11. Right? We can go ahead and close on out and see where we at. We're still up and going, huh? Oh shit, my phone getting down to 16%. We almost here, though. Romans 13 verse 11. Yup. And then. And, and, and that knowing that the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Now it is high time to awake out of sleep because we see the prophecies playing out. Go ahead. For now, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. See that? Now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. All these things that were spoken of 2,000 or so years ago. Hey, look, man, those things are happening right now. And they're happening very quickly. And it's only two major prophecies that's got to play out, really. There's some more things that's got to play out. But World War III, already popping. That's one of them. That MOTV, that Mark of the Beauty and the Beast, that computer they want to put in your ass, already in play. And they're already doing it. 
They already doing it. You see what I'm saying? So go ahead, Aqua verse 12. So we about out of here, man. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the work of darkness and let us put on the light of the armor, the armor of light. Yep, you gotta put off those works of darkness, man. Put on this armor of light. Come into this truth, man. Repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh's side. But that's the only way out. What, what the, the, the brothers been saying lately, the only way out is up. <laughs> hey, the only way out is some chariot. Pretty, if, if you're still alive, if you 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 know, if you if you're still alive with the Lord, the only way out of this destruction is gonna be up, man, and them chariots, man. And, and we we were praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's side for mercy, man, and, and, and endurance. And and just hey, to be a part of it, God. straight up, man. That's serious business, man. And it's, you know it's crazy because you got brothers that's been coming out on the highways and byways for years. That's not gonna make it. That's scary, man, because they're not teaching the correct doctrine, man. You know, the doctrine is very important. The doctrine is very simple. The Lord is coming. The kingdom is at hand. Repent. And know how to repent. Know yep. how to know the true name of, of the, the Father, Father and the Son. Yahweh, Yahweh and Yahweh's Son. And you, we got camps that's out here that don't even teach that. Huge camps, too. Huge camps, man. And you would tell a lot of these people that have been going to church forever the true name. And they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't understand. It don't matter, man, to them. It, yeah, that's the thing. But, but it, the it, thing it, of it is, not that they don't understand it, they don't even do no research to, to find out the truth. Yeah, but that's yeah, the bottom line, man. That's their lot. You know what I'm saying? They, it, it just is that, you know, the Lord blinding them. That's their lot, man. You know? I know I was telling my mom the name and stuff. She's like, I can't remember them names. I said, well, I bet if it's some money involved, you would. I bet you if somebody said, hey, I got $5 if you can call on these names within the next hour, they're going to be like, Yahweh, why Yahweh side? Yahweh, why Yahweh side? Yahweh, why Yahweh side? They're going to keep saying that shit until the hour's up. Yahweh, why Yahweh side? You ready? I got this $500. You know the name? Yahweh, Yahweh side. I bet you if some money was involved, they'll remember the name. You see? When there's something involved, when there's something. Cause see, our people don't 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 see it as being precious, but they gonna they gonna find out how precious this name is of your of the Lord, man. They gonna find out the true name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is gonna it's gonna be a precious thing, man. And yet the men of the Lord are gonna be like basically a covering, man. It's gonna be people out here. It's gonna be people out here really looking for the men of the Lord, man. When when the famine of the world comes, and and, and we're gonna be. Precious, man. These words are gonna be precious in that day and time. Cause see, now people are just looking like, oh, everything is everything. But they gonna have an inkling of a remembrance of them gods. What was them gods saying? What was that name they were saying? You see? So you know, hey, you know, well, all accounts gonna say true names. No, no, no. Use, use names that's not, not true. Like for one, get the hell away from IUIC. Yahweh and all that. You gotta get away from IUIC. You got some of these, they out here calling on Yah Yeshua, Yahushua, and all these different names. No, man, it's Yahweh and Yahweh's side. It's not no most high and God blessed. It's not no Christ. You see what I'm saying? And we got, you got camps out here that's got 501c3 charters, tax exempt shit, and it's about that money. And that money is going to get a lot of people destroyed, man. This truth is not about filthy lucre, man. God damn, they must have flipped that bitch. Slot. It's not about no, um, no, it, it, this truth is not about filthy lucre, man. Here you go, you got uh, uh, camps with sites and shit selling flip flops for $75. Are you, are you selling your people flip flops for $75? Flip flip flops, I can get at the dollar store. You out here selling seventy-five dollar hoodies and shit. You know, you done made merchandise of the gospel, man. The Lord gonna deal with these camps, man. But anyway, man, we gonna end out by saying, Oh, ho, yeah, ho, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kakudash. Double honors to our apostles again and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. 
and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Allah from the other side to the best of their ability. And we out, man. Shalom. Shalom. And I was just looking at the moon, though. And this is how you know that the, that the, um, the Sabbath is on the, on, on the new moon, man. Because uh. we're two weeks in and it's a bad moon. Hey, hey, uh, do you believe they have a land up there? Hell no. Nah. They talking about trying to go back now. <laughs> Shalom. But you know.